Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today we are going to be playing some of Dragon's head game or else otherwise known as get your ender pearl balls into Dragon's mouth game where you toss your ender pearl and you hit the face here thwack I need to thwack you thwack and then you fall down there uh, and then you fall forward and then you hit the next guy Thwack. Then you fall down. Ah. And then you throw another pearl. And you try to get it either in the eye or get in the mouth. So maybe it should be called Get Your Balls Into the into Dragon's um, Orifices game? I don't know. That sounds like a kind of weird sounding game name. But that is what it's going to be known as. So let's get started. So a little bit of fair warning. Um, I, did, I am recording this post. And I didn't really like it. That sign called me gay. Brownie face. But I am recording this post, so I've played through about a one whole day of um, throwing my balls at faces and falling to my doom. So, yeah, that was a long time. It's like 11, 12 minutes. But I just thought I'd show you my first ever attempt, and then, then I die. I'm kind of disappointed to say that uh, attempt two was the only... And uh, final time, I actually made it into the mouth. So it's actually pretty difficult. I was like, this is so easy. I made it on the second try. But I never got it again, so there you go. I tried to land in the eye, but I messed up and I fell to my doom. And lol. I just fell in the pit. Okay, so here are some of my trips and ticks for improvement. Um, don't jump off the edge while falling. You're gonna just end up hitting the ground way before you actually the next pearl hits. So that's, I mean, that's actually pretty unfortunate. So either we're gonna, uh, dragon, you need to raise the heads like higher in the sky. I'm not. I think they're already at height limit. Or like dig out a giant hole underneath because there it happens again, and again, and again, and again. So that's one of the most annoying things I found while playing this game. Let's see. Let's watch me one more time. Oh, okay. What the hell just happened there? That's because I threw way too many pearls. And what we need to do, uh, what I think you need to do to do this is, um, because when you just, like, th throw pearls randomly, they take forever and ever and ever and ever to fall. So there needs to be some sort of, like, wall or net to, like, catch these pearls. So, like, you're not on your next attempt, and then the pearl's gonna come over, and then... You're gonna hit the ground, and you're gonna be like, I was in the mouth, but then you can be teleporting the ground, and then you'll rage quit, and you'll blow up your computer, and then you'll blow up the world, and then you'll blow up America, and that would not be fun for anybody or any person's um, part of that blowing up. So, there needs to be an end. Um, one interesting thing I learned about Ender Pearls today is that they're very precise. Like, the parabolic arc on them doesn't is like pretty accurate. I mean, I always thought it went in a straight line, like, pretty much. Well, I knew there was some curve, but as you can see, like, by those, like, I had just, like, 15 fills just then. It's hard to get a precision shot on the head. And even if you do, it's difficult to get into the mouth. So, this game is very, very difficult. At least for, like, some mentally challenged people like me, or whatever, who can't even... <laughs> the target with the pearl most of the time. Um, one final thing that's pretty interesting is that you can actually get on top of the heads. Like, watch this. Stick. Throw them up. Throw up. Up and up and up. And down. Then we're on top. And that's probably a bug that probably should not happen. I mean, you probably shouldn't stick to the freaking head anyway, just randomly. But, I don't know if that needs to be fixed, but it does give you the chance to play the cat CD. And, this is very fun to play, um, play this game in the nighttime. It's kind of, it trips you out. So, or the mall CD. I don't even know what CD I can use. But you could kind of cheat this way if you always get up. If you always, like, manage to get up here. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't really know anything. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching this playthrough of Dragon's Head Game. And, Dragon, sir, I hope you take these 
uh, ideas into effect, something I would also like to see is um, because it's kind of boring. You just thwack, fall, thwack, fall. You know what I'm saying? Something would be cool is like you have to if you have to like thwack, fall, and then you got so you're like you're falling ah, and then you have to throw it through a hole, and then behind the hole was another wall thing like this. I mean, you get the idea. So you so you have to like throw it through different sorts of obstacles. You hit this, and then you keep falling, and then you keep having to throw get into the mouth. I don't know. Just add some a little bit more obstacles would be great. So once again, guys, I thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed as it's a pleasure as always for me to make this video. Um, I thank you so much for leaving that like. You can uh, please check out my Facebook and Twitter pages for new updates and stuff like that and secrets. Secrets that I shall not share with you. Unless you like my page. So as always, guys. Man, I fell to the ground too early. I will see you later. LOL